Dan Perkins, Jasper County Cover Crop Guy here. And we're going to give a little update on the roller crimper plots here at my place. And here what we're looking at is Balanza Clover. So that was planted, most of this was planted the middle to end of September. And you can see that's not flowering. We have Purple Bounty Hairy Vetch. Oh no, I said that wrong. It's Winter Bounty, and that has been, it's at about 80% flower, so it's about five flowering stock. You, you look at the top five nodes. Um, and then next over we have TNT, which is not quite flowering. Uh, it's maybe 20%. And then we get into Purple, which is probably a little more at 40 to 60%. And then of course we have Crimson Clover here. Most of you will recognize this. And this was at full flower um, a week ago. So, you know, in terms of crimping, being able to terminate without an herbicide, um, I'm going to actually do that today. And then we have various varieties of cereal rye. We have Valor Barley, um, a VNS, and then we have Barley again without the hairy vetch in it. And then a, um, a Rustic at the end, Elbon here, and just checking for when when the flowering date happens and I'll walk through here real quick I'm um, here with this Siri rye here I'm looking at my notes to make sure I get this right I had Elbon Siri rye with purple hairy vetch and you can see that just like in the monoculture plot over there purple we got about 20 percent flowering Elbon um, is actually reached full flower and I wanted to demonstrate something here when you look at this here flowering starts at the middle of the head and then it spreads to the top and bottom. So a lot of people this spring were pulling the trigger too early with how cold things were. We gotta really make sure that the, the pollen has shed all off the head. And if you get a really windy day, that can all fall off. So I suggest looking at the ground too. Um, so that's Elbon. So I'm just looking for a variety of hairy vetch and Siri rye that will flower at the same time consistently, you know, for Northern Indiana. And then I want barley for hairy vetch. Um, this would be for like a no-till corn production, kind of theoretical. And this is purple hairy vetch, which is at a good flowering stage. And really to terminate hairy vetch, you know, more than 90%, um, you need early pod set. So you look at the top five nodes of hairy vetch. So if I took this single right here, this would be about... Um, 30% flowering, there's about three flower sets in here, but there's no pods. So I certainly don't want to try to crimp this. Uh, the barley did reach full flower just yesterday and it blew off in the wind. Um, you can actually squeeze the head and it's at it's getting into the clear milk stage. So that would technically turn. Um, and then as we move across here, um, we're looking at cereal rye um, and a TNT which that hasn't really reached flowering at all. And then just straight 